Okay, everyone, this is the Mad King Paradox says today, bringing you a special announcement. Although, this is just a rumor. Let me make this clear. This is just a rumor. It isn't finalized. Nothing is set in stone yet. This is just a rumor that is flying around the internet, uh, social media, whatever you want to use. This is just a rumor, but damn, I want it to be true. You, you have no idea how much I want this to be true. Being a part of the otaku fan base myself, I am hyped for this, and I mean hyped. And basically, what's going on is, there is, like I said, a rumor that the hit manga anime series Death Note, although having a 12 volume manga set, a uh, 9 singles DVD anime set, along with a 2 box uh, collection set, not even in not even counting the uh, uh, other book other manga books they have like uh, the BB murder case files and the uh, in the uh, black volumes they have three live action movies Death Note one two and L Change the World. But now, now there might be another one. Yes, but what makes this one so special is that it is an American remake. Holy shit. An American remake to Death Note. I can't even... I can't even say how big this is. Because, let's think about it, normally when we get anime that is very popular and we make an American remake for it, 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 it usually turns out shit. Case in point, Dragon Ball Evolution. God, don't even get me started on Dragon Ball Evolution. But, Death Note, think about this. One of the most popular anime in the past, uh, past several years. And have had three commercial success of, uh, live action movies. One of which wasn't even based on the manga or the anime. It was based off of the, uh, the fucking, uh, Hell, what was it called? L change the world. Of course, D the fucking D. But an American remake. This is good. Very good series. Very good storyline. Can't really fuck that part up. I mean, even in the live-action movies, they did a damn good job at it. But, basically, the thing we have to be careful of is who they get to play the characters and how they commercialize it. Because think about it. If the char people that get to play the characters turn out to be shit, then that's going to... Uh, that's just going to completely destroy the entire movie. And we cannot have that. Not after Dragon Ball Evolution. No. And I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers actually make lists of people who they would like to see play as the characters on Death Note. And this isn't like a regular movie where you can just have some knockoff actor uh, play one of the main roles and everything be okay after that? No, no. You can't have that in Death Note. Death Note is a highly, um, fuck, I forgot the words I was going to use. 
I was gonna make myself sound all smart and shit, but I've completely forgotten the words. It's, in simplest terms, it's a highly detailed story with interconnecting storylines and, uh, characters that, that's what makes it work so well. The depthness of the story. You know, it's not just, uh... Oh, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't seen it. Although, if you haven't seen it, what the fuck are you still doing here? Go watch it. But, I thought to myself, I've seen a lot of people uh, say who they want as the, char the actors to play these characters. And I got to thinking about it. And, you know, I would like to do some of that myself. I, there's a few actors in my head. I don't really know a lot about actors and who they are. But, you know, I figured I'd put my two cents in. But, so, uh, yeah, I actually watched a bunch of videos, uh, with lists of who they would like to see play them. And I gotta agree with quite a bit of them. But, uh, yeah, I picked a bunch of them that, uh, I thought were nice. Nice. A lot of them, like, about, so, a third of them on this list right here of main characters. I couldn't really pick any actors that I know of that could play them correctly. Like, some of them, they were obvious. But others, it's like, who do you get to play that? Seriously, who do you get to play this part and do it correct? So, I'm just going to go through the ones that I've uh, decided on. But keep in mind, like I said, this is just a rumor. It might not happen, but I pray to God it does. I really do. So let's get started here. And I'm going to mention a couple of joke ones that I've heard because, first off, they made me laugh. That's always a plus. But some of them had some validity to it. Not a lot. Not a lot. But enough to uh, say... That person could work. So basically, the first one is main character number one, Light Yagami. Light Yagami. In order to play as Light Yagami, you have to be good looking, intelligent, and demented as fuck. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. Good looks intelligence and look at those eyes in that laugh I mean come on that's even if you've never seen the show even if you don't know what it's about watch the first fucking episode or any episode or read any chapter and it's plainly obvious but I saw two people that a lot of people kept bringing up and I narrowed it down to one because I think is more of a fit for the character and the one I picked was Chase Crawford now the ones that I've heard uh, people use for light is Chase Crawford and Zac Efron basically if you put a pic I, I suck at editing so I can't really put pictures and everything like, oh, there's a picture over here. Oh, there's a picture over here. All right, let's bring them together. Okay, now there's a picture right here, and we got two pictures over here, and there's a bunch of little pictures down here. No, I can't do that. I'm computer tarted for God's sake. I don't know how to do this shit, but basically, have a picture of Chase Crawford here, Zac Efron here, and Light Yagami in the middle and just compare and you will see that Chase Crawford looks almost exactly like Light Yagami Zac Efron mm, but they see these characters you have to be really careful when picking somebody because I saw a lot in the comments saying that, okay, yeah, they look just like the character, but their acting skills uh, aren't good enough for it. 
like I said, Light Yagami. He is smooth, intellectual, suave. A, you take a look at him, and he looks like the girl. I mean, fuck. He looks like the guy that, when he walks down the street, every girl passes out. That's what he looks like. But, not only that in looks, but intelligence. My God, is he smart. And for what he does, he has to be smart. But not only that, he has to, whoever plays him, has to be able to, on a, in a split second, change from the suave, good looking ladies. La I don't want to say ladies man, but the man that every woman wants, to a demented fuck. And I mean demented. I mean, he goes from, like, Helping old ladies and, you know, uh, volunteering at orphanages and things like that to being, I am going to be the god of the new world! Hail Kira! He has to, uh, that wasn't a good explanation of that, but like, he has to go from, he has to go from, uh, the woman's fantasy to this. In the blink of an eye. Basically. Now. L. The world's greatest detective. I know I'm moving around in my chair a lot. But the world's greatest detective. On par intellectually with Light Yagami. But polar opposites. And that is a big theme in Death Note. A lot of... That's plainly obvious if you see the series, but to play L, not only do you have to be highly intellectual, but you have to do a lot of weird things. That, I fucked that up royally, but basically, I only have a joke one in here, but it was the only one that made sense. Gerard Way, lead singer of My Chemical Romance. Fuck A. Fuck A. Fucking A. Why am I so tongue-tied at the moment? Well, I'm doing something important. Somewhat. Maybe. I don't know. Could be? Yeah. Will it? Hopefully. Okay. But... he He's the only one I could see that could play the part. I mean, okay, there might be better options, but like I said, this was a joke. Uh, and the next one is a joke one too, but at the same time, both of them, I thought, maybe they could play the part. So, okay. Yeah, Gerard Way for L. Until we find, you know, like, someone that can play it perfectly. But like... Yeah, they have to be the complete opposite of light. Now, Misa. Misa Amane. You would think she wouldn't be too hard to find an actor for. You know, she's the pop star of the uh, series. So, they s pretty much, you just need some blonde who has singing ability and can act. Couldn't be too hard to find here, now could it? But out of all the videos I watched for this, the one that made the most sense, Ever Levine. Like I said, this was a joke one too, just like with Gerard Way for being L. But it makes sense. They kind of share a similar style, a similar personality to a T. I mean, not to a T, to a to a, a slight degree, but yeah, those are the two that I thought were the joke ones, so don't take those two too seriously. Next up is Sritro Yagami, Light's dad, chief of the police, Gary Oldman, hands down, I, I can't think of anyone better. 
he just gives off that parental vibe. You know, like the, uh, I am the father of this group and I look out over, look over them and they come to me for guidance type of feeling. And plus, he has experience playing as a cop anyway. So, it, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Now, what are they? Michael Kane. Let's be honest here, people. Michael Kane would fit that role perfectly. So, yeah, he can't. Watare kind of gives off that butlerish look. So, Michael Kane playing as a butler could work. Basically, when I basically I saw a couple of people say this, not everyone, but a couple of people, but uh basically what I'm thinking here is I see Watare's performances in the live action anime and I see Michael Caine's performance in some of his movies. I think it could work. I honestly could. Why am I leaning over so far? Alright. Now. This is getting to the point where I really don't know who to choose for these characters. There's a... There's a... Two... That I'm dead set on. Ryuk. The Shinigami. Obviously for Ryuk and uh... Fuck, what was her name? I haven't seen this series in so long I've completely forgotten their names. Rem. I cannot believe I forgot her name. Jesus Christ. I say I love this series, yet I cannot remember simple names. Rem, Near, and Mello. I could not think of any characters for them. I seriously couldn't. Who do you get to play those? Rem? Okay. Yeah, voice actor. Along with Ryuk, they'd be voice actors, but at the same time, um, I, I can't think of anyone. But like, at first, I thought of the voice actor for Rem being that one girl who played, uh, fuck, I can't, I never could remember this girl's name. She played in, uh, she played one of the evil witches in Harry Potter. She was just recently in Les Miserables. And she also played the uh, older version of that one girl in Big Fish. Th that really demented looking girl. Uh, fuck, what was her name? Anyway, she's not important because I ruled her out because the voicing for Rem, she doesn't have a deep enough voice to pull off Rem. Seriously. Now, could she work? Mm, maybe if she plays if she plays it off good enough. But at the same time, I highly doubt she would. So I xed her off the list for me. Ryuk. A whole lot of people said this, and I I I, I honestly see why. Johnny Depp, hands down. Think about it. You add him his voice, 
but at a higher pitch, he could play Ryuk. That that that's my. Remember, this is uh, this is just speculation. None of this is true. This is just people I would think would make good for the part. Now, Mello and Near, along with Rem, I honestly can't think of anyone that would play the part correctly. That's the key here. They have to play it correctly. Mello and Near. Once again, opposites. Can't really think of anyone that could play either of them. And Rem, obvious reasons. But there's also some minor characters that are very important to the story that I also can't think of for characters either. Like, uh, Matt, uh, fucking, uh, Naomi. Ray Pember, uh, Takeda, yeah, a lot of people like that. I cannot think of character uh, actors that could play them right. Now, uh, the next one is going to be M Mikami. Now, Mikami, at first, I had Cillian Murphy. At first, but after thinking about it for a while and watching a couple of other people's video, one person said it that I saw. One person. And honestly, I think it's a good fit. I doubt it would happen because he's usually lead character roles, but at the same time, this is a good main character. Not like main, like Light and L, but like. Like, there's, like, a lot of characters that have very important roles in the story, but there's, like, hierarchies, like, Light and L are up here, uh, Misa, Ryuk, and Rem, and, uh, and the Task Force people are below that. Then there's, like, the other people that get involved later on that have major impacts in the story. Those people, he's about right there. And th it is Mikami. Fuck, I already said that. But the person I would think would play it best would be Christian Bale. If he grew his hair out. Because Mikami has long hair and he usually doesn't. But it's it's like light. He has to be like the suave, good looking, intelligent well not to the same degree as light, intelligent type of guy, and then just snap. And I could see Christian Bale doing that, honestly, if he grew his hair out. Shut up, Kenny. But, uh... Yeah, that's basically it. I can't think of any other characters, actors for other characters, but at the same time, you know... This is the best list I can come up with. Like I said, I watched a couple of other people's videos and just took notes off of that. I'm not trying to copy anyone or anything, but at the same time, I'm like, um, okay, this person can work. I don't really like this person's pick, but this person's pick makes more sense type of thing. But, yeah, it's basically what I'm thinking of here at the moment. So, tell me your thoughts. Like I said, this is all speculation, but I'm really hoping it's it happens, and I hope it's played perfectly, because it would be epic if it did. So, this is the Mad King Paradox S signing off. See you all next time, and be sure to tell me who you would think would play these characters better, on par, somewhat, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to spread the word. Hopefully get it started. You know, so I will see you all later.